In this video, I'm going to show you how to calculate the hydrostatic force on an object submerged underwater. So for example here, we have a rectangle that is submerged underwater and we have to calculate the hydrostatic force on this object. So first things first, we know that in this rectangle, the width is 2 feet, the height is 8 feet, and it's submerged underwater 3 feet. Let's begin by placing the x and y axis on this rectangle. So I place the x axis at the base of this rectangle and you can see that the positive direction is to the right. And for the y axis, I placed it in the middle of the object and the positive direction is upwards. So this point is 8 because we know that the height is 8. So starting at here, at the center is 0 and here is going to be 8. The width is 2 feet, so the distance from here to here is 1, and the distance from here to here is also 1, so that's why this is negative 1 here. The idea behind calculating the hydrostatic force is that you calculate the force that this stripe of water is acting on the object, and then you calculate the force that this stripe is acting on the object, and then the force from this one, then this one. So you get the idea, we keep doing that until we reach the top, like this. And then we add all of those forces together and that will give us the hydrostatic force. Here I draw this line to represent our stripe and the distance from the center to this stripe is y. Now we also know that from here to here is 1 and from here to here the distance is also 1. This is the formula to calculate the hydrostatic force. And as you can see we have the integral from a to b of the density times the length times the depth and dy. So we want this function to be in terms of y. And I'm going to show you how to find these parameters. So first of all, if the length is in meters, then the density will be 9800. It's just a number that you have to know, and the force will be in newtons. Whereas if the length is in feet, then the density will be 62.5, and the force will be in pounds. But what is from A to B? Well, A is 0, and we want to calculate the force up until the very top, which is 8. What is the density? Well, as you can see, this problem is in feet. So the density will be 62.5. What is the length? Well, the length is the length of the stripe from here to here. And as mentioned before, it's going to be 2 because this stripe has the same length as the width, and therefore it's just 2. Last but not least, what is the depth? Well, what does depth mean? The depth means the distance from our stripe to the surface of the water. Now, we want to calculate this distance. So what is this distance? First of all, we know that the distance from here to here is going to be 11 because we have 8 plus 3, that's going to be 11. The goal is to calculate this distance. So that's going to be 11 minus this distance, which is y. 11 minus y, that's going to give you this. This integral is very easy to solve, so let me save you your time and just say that this is equal to 7000. And what is the unit? Well, this problem is in feet, so the unit or the force is in pounds, so let's say pounds. And that is the answer to this question. In the next video, I will show you how to do the problem where the shape is a triangle.